Good morning church, welcome to another day, here we are, uh, just a few thoughts for you on the verse in Acts, Acts 2, we know well in the New Testament we're told that the believers were all together in one place and God moved there and we know the story well and I suppose this morning I just asked the question, where is this place? Jesus describes it in Matthew chapter 6, I think it is, Matthew chapter 6, um, the secret place where God our Father sees you. The secret place actually where God your Father sees you. And he'll meet with you there and he'll reward you there. And it set me thinking, you know, this, this place, it's a place where hopefully we happily no longer trust in our own abilities because we're with him and it's a place of absolute confidence in God because he's there uh, like the disciples in the boat in the storm came to the end of their own self-sufficiency and and woke him up Lord you're with us and he obviously sorted things out uh, number two, it's a place, hopefully, of letting go whatever you are clutching onto today. I don't know what that is for you. Um, you know, try not to come in with stuff. Leave your stuff out for a bit so that you have open hands and a heart to receive from him and whatever he's got for you today. Uh, and thirdly, it's a place maybe where God, um, well, not maybe, where God does dwell. Matthew 6, our Father is in the secret place. Go and have a look. God dwells there and he moves there and he will stir you up to pray today for things that maybe you've never dreamed of or, or hoped for. In this place of prayer from the Old Testament we know angels ascend and descend as Jacob struggled with God in prayer and, and, and pushed through this place of prayer is a gateway to heaven where Jesus, our great high priest, listens attentively and, and he longs to talk with you. And you know as we pray in persistence and patience, um, our prayer will bring about changing people's lives. As you pour out your heart and pray before the throne of God, things happen. Angels are sent, are commissioned. And lives are changed, maybe unseen to you, but we create movement in the eternal space as we lift our hearts and spend time with him in the secret place. So I offer you today then prayer, a place where God is, where God moves. He's waiting there for you today. Go and meet with him. <laughs>